we got uh we got two trucks that are beaters out there we'll just plan on you know Peter. working i barely knew her sorry <clears throat> go ahead five zero zero one gallery road for white pickup truck 45 feet off the cliff charles three got some beaters up back and uh we'll tear them apart <laughs> that's what she said Okay, so we got a white pickup truck 45 feet off a cliff. One PT inside, can see blood. Uh, so glass shard stuck in chest. And... Jesus! Oh, sh oh my god, active shooter! You get up there? Yeah, just enjoying the sunset. Hello, Shalom friends, and welcome back to San Andreas' Finest. We are rejoining Dublin Glenon here on patrol, and we are in Tower 5 tonight. And Tower 5 is a mid-mount, as you can see. Uh, awesome apparatus. It does go up all the way, of course. And what's really cool is the lights on the ladder itself are red, white, and blue. So when it's fully extended, you have red, white, and blue uh, all the way up the ladder. It's really cool. Right now, you can only see the blue. You can kind of see the other colors, though. First time I'm driving this, and I'm uh, really excited to use it. Hopefully we get to use it tonight. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna pull it into the station right now and uh, get it all set up. Uh, we have a joint training tonight with uh, EMS. So we're gonna uh, get on board with that and we'll see how it goes if we get any calls and whatnot. This is a big, big vehicle. So happy to finally have a mid-mount. We do have two ladders as well. And then this is our um, uh, tower. So we have both, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, so and pull it forward here. I think we're lined up where we need to be. Yeah, we're going to be using that beast tonight. Oh man, that looks so cool. I love that. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, joint training is going to be out here tonight, so we're going to hang out here and uh, wait until we are needed and uh, go from there. I can smell your breath too. Oh no, that was just whatever monstrosity he's eating. Never mind. Wow. Yeah, for real. What is that, man? Was it wow. beans and cucumbers? What? What are you doing yeah. over there? Uh, some tomatoes and some French fries too. Tomatoes and French fries. Uh, tomatoes, beans, French fries, and cucumbers. You know what? Beans, uh, greens, potatoes, tomato, potatoes, corn. I, know, I think it's eggs, ham. I'm trying. Beans, I'm tomatoes, trying tomatoes, keto. Potatoes. No bread. Chicken, ham. You, you know, know French fries have bread in there, right? Or well. Uh, well. Uh, no, no, they don't. I'm just stupid. <laughs> it's a potato, though. It's not carbs. Yeah, they're not breaded. I'm, okay, I'm cutting out bread from my diet. Yeah, dirty keto, baby. Dirty keto. Ah. All right, it looks like it's just going to be us four today. So it should be uh, it should be relatively nice. We all relatively know what we're doing here. Just to go over some basics. Uh, does anyone know the weather today? How hot it's going to be? 73. 73 okay cool yeah 73 degrees out which is not as bad as yesterday when it was in its hundreds um remember to stay hydrated um we're going to be doing a joint training with us ams is special operations they're coming down with rescue 40. we're just going to do some joint auto extrication at the rear of the building if we do get a call you know what to do just we're not going to take any of the equipment out of the apparatus that are first due so just try to keep it from one of the reserve trucks if we need to pull it out we can I believe a EMS lieutenant as well is going to be coming down here to uh, help out with it. We're mainly just going to be improving our relations and learning what we each can do and what we can't do and just to build teamwork. Anything from the floor? No, oh, sir. I think they're already arriving here. Okay. Just saw rescue coming up. Cool. And then, uh, last order of business, uh, Phoenix One's out of service. It, the hoist is broken. Uh, we sent it off to contractors down in the city. They should be working on getting a repair, but in the meanwhile, go ahead and contact your partner agencies like Lifeline, uh, Blake County Sheriff's Department, and SASP. Oh my God. Uh, North. There we go. Gentlemen. How's it going, sir? Station two community. Pretty good. Good to see you guys. How you doing? Station two. Doing well, doing well. And service available. Heck yeah. Copy, show you in service available. I'm excited for this. Yeah, yeah me, me too. too. I'm, I'm, you know, I've been trying to get this together with uh, Chief Snyder here because I think it's very important. So Absolutely. 100% agree. So, 
Generally, just a then little basics. Um, Y'all bought your truck, right? Rescue 40. Did you just bring bed 40? You no, know, it's uh, it's out there. Okay, cool. Just look we got right, right there. It's kind of oh shit. Yeah, I didn't see yeah. that. We got a <laughs> we got a we got two trucks that are beaters out there. We'll just plan on you know Peter. working. I barely knew her. Sorry. <clears throat> Go ahead. Oh my God. <laughs> Can't take you anywhere, man. <laughs> Sorry. I, I just couldn't resist. Romeo, one, two, three. It's okay. My God. Okay, that, you got me on my mojo now. So, <laughs> so I'll take on the service. We we got some beaters up back, and uh, we'll tear them apart. <laughs> That's what she said. I fucking swear. To God. <laughs> Look at the rescue. Sorry, I'll I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll what leave. What beings did you add? What those what those clone? clone uh, yeah, you probably don't want to walk behind me. Ah <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. God dang it. Pretty nice. Uh, the worst thing is I'm sitting with the, in the truck with you today. Uh, yeah, it is true. Oh, God. So, <laughs> EMS... Way, back on your shoot. Hey, oh. Uh, it, that, that, that. So, uh, EMS has their own rescue. Now, this is only activated when we are not able to send a rescue. That way, they don't have to county rescue uh, good. calls, uh, which is great because they, you know, they get to have no, that role fine. play that's still rescuing. Sure, what? What? Trusty. Who are you talking to? I have no idea. You you, uh, you must be hearing things. <laughs> yeah, I, I would like mm, okay. everyone to have yep. at least a little bit of knowledge in how to operate the tools. It's, it I was hot miking there by mistake, my bad. I'm trying to walk away from Snyder because he's shouting. Uh, so this rescue is an EMS rescue. Uh, EMS runs it. Now, they only activate it and use it when... Uh, our own rescue is unable to respond to a call because something they've run into is something that we run into with EMS where sometimes we have to county EMS meaning that there's no ambulance coming and we have to use a local ambulance to um, take the patient to the hospital well they've been having a problem where sometimes if we're not available they have to uh, county or local uh, rescue someone out of a car or a dangerous situation so they have this apparatus in order to uh, you know remedy that now they only activate or they only respond when we are unable to uh so that's um that way you know because rescue is our primary on the fire department side is our primary uh responsibility and ems is theirs so um this is only used when uh, they uh require uh, rescue and we, and we can't provide it yeah so the first off i just wanted to go over so like what you guys had on your truck what type of equipment you carried and then um we'll go over if we have any questions um with the gear just so that we're familiar like if we get on scene and you tell us you need us to grab equipment then we know where it is and what you do and we don't have and then um we can just formulate what we want to do with the vehicle extrications i was thinking maybe we can get one rolled rolled over and then work on some uh some extrication that way and yeah just just working on what we need to do we got a we got the two-seater and then we got the four-seater so we can work on advanced education on that four-seater but uh, honestly yeah. our rescue is not really too fancy i mean it's really this it's, it's, i'm assuming it's the exact same equipment that's carried on y'all's rescue obviously it's um it also carries our our medical equipment like the the med packs and our bags but i mean that's not really important to y'all but um it's just got the cutters, spreaders, you know, anything you need for extrication, really. Um, you got struts and stuff on here. And then, like I said, you have the hazmat and technical rescue stuff. We have a, a full CMC bag with rigging, uh, with rigging stuff in it. Um, and then we have, um, we have some rope bags as well. And the way I see Rescue 40, it's just another tool for the toolbox. You know, it's another another thing you guys can call if you guys need extra manpower or, or just extra tools in general. Um, you know, another set of hands that know what they're doing. Um, and so, like, I just, not saying that you guys won't, but, like, utilize us when, when, you, when you need it. Absolutely. Trying to foster the environment. Like, we're all on the same team. We all are here to do the same job. And ultimately, it's, you know, the respond to the emergency, take care of it, you know, do our business. So yeah. if we don't have a rescue company, for I don't have a problem if you guys come help us out. Um, like I said before, we still have to get this formulated written down in the agreement. But personally, if you guys are operational, you guys are in service and we need you, we'll call you. And if we need help, 
you know we need to ask and we need to we need to reach out and say hey we might need a couple set of hands and as long as you guys have all the certification up to date and your training is all in line then i, I don't see a problem with it uh, the main concern is uh, that i had was if we had one like if we had our rescue companies trained a specific way in how to do something and then let's say rescue 40 were to arrive on scene and they're trained in a, a different way of handling that situation just from like a scene safety perspective i don't want that miscommunication to happen where if someone messes up something and it were to cause a delay of the incident or you know god forbid a line of duty injury or death or something like that so as long as we're yeah, on the same right. playing field and we all understand each other's capabilities and how to handle each other's situations and there shouldn't be a problem yeah you know that's why we're out here doing this well, let's get the cuttings on some cars absolutely absolutely um before we do that you want to go i want to look around rescue one to see what we all have on the truck and then uh just so that you guys are aware of what we have and what we don't have rules of the training you need to have ppe on so make sure you have your helmet on make sure you have eye protection on your gloves you turn off pants and your coat um if someone sees something unsafe uh glenn i hope you call them out on it because you know that is your job that's why we pay you um even though he's the safety officer everybody is a safety officer everyone is a safety officer that is including uh ems as well if you guys see something unsafe speak up we want you to speak up because you know safety is the most important thing we have on a fire ground on any scene actually you need to if you see something unsafe key up tell someone make sure it's like addressed so that we're all aware of it can you meet me in the parking lot at 911 you uh you feeling right jefferson I'm not trying to yeah cancer. okay no i don't have the virus don't worry <laughs> i was just checking i mean you went and socked the chief over I there mean, yeah Sean's it's, face it's is feeling okay, once but, you know it happened to me once like okay. that's all it takes is one time the right. past like you don't want to know how many times it's happened to other people so <laughs> well i get tested yeah just saying but when i had to test myself i'm negative hey snyder yeah you want somebody to play the victim yeah i do need someone to play the victim you want to do it yeah i'll do it Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll let you decide the damages of the truck and um, what's wrong with it and how we can uh, resolve the issue and get you out. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, both doors are jammed. Uh, let's see. My legs are pinned underneath the dashboard. And the roof, because I've rolled over, the uh, roof is basically on my head and I'm kind of kind of leaning towards the middle of the vehicle here because I'm being pushed down. Let's see, what else can I give you? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, all the windows are intact except the driver's side. There we go. Cool. Word. Well, obviously, you know, um, the first thing when any, any of us get on scene, our, our primary goal is to stabilize the vehicle first, right? Stabilize the scene, make sure... I'm going to reiterate what I I, I think I said before. I I'm not, I don't remember, but like whenever we're doing an action on the vehicle, it could be scary for the victim inside. Like, you know, well in this state, God knows everyone is you know exposed to this traumatic stuff, but like victims don't have this every day. They don't see this every day. We do though. So you always want to explain what's going on, what's going to happen next to the victims so that they are aware of what's going on and what's going to happen next because it's very stressful very scary being inside a car accident and it's very loud very hectic you know you don't know a lot of people so no, hang on hang on sir. Uh oh well, it's fire time followed by the i'll be deactivating game order i'll be back how do you know it's a damn fire tone every time it but then another... the fire tone goes down in, in uh pitch oh. Oh, does he? Oh, never noticed that. Fire radio, engine and ladder, medic 12. Here we got to pack up that line. To respond to 5001 Galileo Road. Let's go find that guy again. We found a revolver White in the glove box. Truck Come on again. 45 feet off a cliff. Jesus. Okay, let's Whoa. go. Fire radio, engine ladder, medic 12. 5001 Galileo Road for white pickup truck, 45 feet off a cliff. Charles, do we? Put a bow out for a Clive Windrow. Hey, uh, you're gonna be uh, primary radio jacket, and uh, relate to me what's going on because my radio is all messed up. I'm hearing every channel, so uh, just tell me what's going on. Um, it's gonna be I know. Uh, I'm gonna be 
Do we have any other one? Copy. Left jacket. 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 Left
No. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, I'm just gonna have him bring up hand line. Not a hand line. A hand. Just bring some hand tools. Yeah, Jefferson, you want to hand me one rope? I'll go across to that tree over there, like you said. Glenn, you got this. I'm going to go throw my AT yep. around. Yeah, just so you know, I, my radio is dead, so uh, Jefferson's my uh, radio. All right, all good. Yeah. You know what? Actually, just hand me the rope. I think I can go up that way and around. And I don't think, I don't think I it goes too deep. I got all your bags and everything else, what you need. All right, I'll take one of these and go up there right now if you want to get this tree closer. Yep. Thank you. Ah, it sucks that I don't have my radio. It really does. Hey, I like, um, like being able to hear everything. So I'm going to go up and around. We're going to secure a line to that tree down there. And then a tree across the ravine on the other side, which is where I'm going. And then we're going to attach that to the vehicle and keep it stable while uh, EMS works on them. And engine's going to do the extrication. This should be this tree right here, I think. Yeah, one. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yo, Glenn. Yo. Uh, oh keep an goodness. eye on anyone that's down there. I don't want anyone to go in that collapse zone or the fall zone. Yeah, just watch uh, it. I saw a rock just come down the thing here. Was that a gunshot? That was a rock. The What's your name, son? I thought you said your name before. I didn't catch it. My name is Ed Edward. Edward, I'm Lucas, um, with the fire department. My partner's here with the EMS as well. We can kind of get you out. We just need you to stay very still, okay? Uh, I'm freaking out, man, with all uh, these rocks and my, my truck falling. I understand, sir. I get it. Uh, it's it's locked. Let's try to get some mechanism over here. Um, hey, the, the window's shattered. Can you unlock it from the inside? Yeah, let me see. I don't know if it's pinned or not. I mean, is the extremities are trapped? Or is it if it's just it's stuck in the car? Uh, I haven't... I don't know yet. Uh, so, glass shard stuck in chest. Jesus! Oh shit. shit! Oh my god, active shooter! Hey guys, just stay calm, okay? Stay calm. Are we getting shot? I think it's mountain lion. Holy terrorist! It's not a terrorist, sir. EMS 6, can oh, we uh, confirm the shots fired? Oh. Alright, I'm gonna step out of y'all's way. There's a lot of shit in my cab. Can you guys stabilize guys the vehicle? Yeah, we got we got two tensions on it. Let's get him uh, once we get him in that back wall. Let's go ahead and lash him in there so he doesn't fall. I'm feeling really dizzy. There we go. Oh my God, there's a 1776 <laughs> shirt. Oh, I need that for I need that for uh, Harvey Freeman. For my there. character's getting a new shirt. <laughs> let's get him down to the ground. All right, let's just four corner him, yeah. Yep. We're gonna grab a corner. We're gonna walk down. Hey Jefferson, I think we should just leave the ropes on it. Just leave them here. We'll the oh guys will just return them to us later. Yep. Good. I'm gonna leave them here. Yeah, too many rocks. I don't want to go anywhere near that thing. Yeah. Plus, if that car is going, it might cause more damage. Yeah. Start me to tow here to this axis lane, 5001 on the dirt trail here. Oh, jeez, that was wrong. Oh, jeez, yeah. But, uh, okay, that, that, that car is done for, I think. Right. Yeah. yeah. We got that guy just in time. Yeah. Alright, let's get off this damn cliff. Yeah, I... See you later, Olsen. Later. Oh, what a coincidence. What's that? Training extrication, and now we have an extrication. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, training complete. <laughs> exactly. We need to get stimulation the to real one. Get yep. It just sucks not having a radio. <laughs> I have to back up all the way. Yeah. Need help with it, or? No, I think I got it. it it's usually the, the bust mirrors, when they put bust mirrors on a tower or like an apparatus those i get really messed up with because like the perception is weird but uh yeah. these normal ones are pretty good it's okay and bottomed out
by turning around. Um, it might not happen. You make make way for them first. Then yeah, we can I'm gonna try let and them get go. Them. Actually, you know what? Let's take the clear. I'm gonna go down mm, around. It's we gonna, might be able to actually get around. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna flatten out. So. Oh, by the way, um, Ripley visited me last time uh, when I opened my boat rental, and she had an idea. Um, either she wanted to ask you, I don't know if she already did, or I should ask you. Um, she had the idea we could, like, you, Rips, and me could go out for a boating trip when it's getting better, the weather's getting better. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I'd like that. I don't know if she already asked, so I'm just asking you right now. <laughs> uh, you know what? I just saw a text from her, but I didn't read it, so I don't know if she uh, just sent me that or not. If if that is the coincidence that she is asking right about now as well, that would be funny. Yeah, it was like it was like maybe like five minutes ago I got a text, but I just didn't get a chance to read it. <laughs> Speaking of rips, by the way, there she is. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking yeah, of the devil. Did we lay down chains? Call? Did we lay down chains on that call? On me or on the call? On the call, not on you. No, I don't Nasty think so. Mother. Bro, what are these togas talking about? We don't lay chains. <laughs> what did you just call them? Togas? Well, the, togas, rope, the ropes are still togas. attached to the trees. That's about togas. it. Togas. Uh... And the answer to that question is no. No, no, that was not me. Oh, weird. So you know what really makes me happy? What's that? What? Is we train to win, right? And like that last call, we just went on the one that the ATR activation, that is exactly why we trained. I guarantee you, if we did not just have that training, it would have not gone that smoothly. Yep. Nope. So th this is a prime example of why we need to train all the time. We need to better ourselves, not just as a department, but like working together as different departments, such as not including SAMS, but like with law enforcement and like dispatch with other agencies. This is how we need to do it. This is, I want this every night. So, you know, as long as we keep an open mind and we're willing to work with each other, then these, these calls for service Oops. are going to turn out just like that. Can <laughs> <laughs> you get <laughs> You feel all right there, boss? Oh, boy, he's jumping away from me. I was like, I can't get on this fucking rhetoric. Hell no. I'm too excited. I was being Snyder's hype man. You mean my what man? <laughs> Your hype man. Yeah, yeah. Hype me up, bro. Hype me up. Yeah. I, I, I'm not even gonna... Hey, what the hell are you doing, bro? Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit. I'm busting it down on Glen Oh. Whatever the name is. Oh, man. Damn. Damn. What are you, doing on, my, what are you, doing, on, what are you doing on your knees, cuz? Yeah, that hurt. Oh, oh my god. What are you... Oh! Jesus. Hi! The old man still got it. Yeah, so I got this nifty ass jacket in this, but then in that package that got delivered. Pretty fucking sweet, huh? Oh. Do you, do you know who. You, well, you don't know who left it? Uh, it had the initial B and the initial G. So that's why I thought it was from you. Yeah, no, not me. Oh, weird. Well, no knows what that is. That's the broker sending him a message. If it would be from him, would it be DG for Dublin Ganon and not BG? I don't know. Oh, and just so people can see it, if you look at the front of tower here, it uh, does say in memory of uh, Wilson and Liam. These are two people that passed away IRL. Uh, they were members of SAF, and unfortunately, we, we did lose them uh, to different circumstances. Um, these were real-life uh, deaths. Um, they were not their characters dying. It was actually them, the players. Um, so the community is remembering them. Uh, th there's a couple vehicles in the in the game that uh, have this. I believe uh, uh, the police department down in the city, they have it on one of their special... Uh, vehicles, I think the bomb squad vehicle actually and then we have it here on tower and uh, there might be one or two more I just don't remember which vehicles they are and actually we have uh, Wilson Memorial Drive which is the road that uh, st is st uh, station one runs on so if you ever see like that little map or see a little, little like location display 
next to the map there and it says I'm on CV Road. Whenever I'm at Station 1, you will see that it says uh, Wilson Memorial Drive on it. And actually, Liam was a uh, dispatcher, uh, among other things, but he, he did enjoy dispatching. Uh, and the dispatch center is actually right here. And I actually, uh, I, I, I mean, I keep meaning to bring it up to um, the community, but I was thinking maybe they could do the same thing where they rename this road, Clinton Avenue, to, uh, to Liam's name, and uh, maybe have this whole stretch of road be his, because I think it, it ends here, because, yeah, you can see it turns into Las La Lagunas Boulevard. But I think if they just had this stretch right here uh, dedicated to him as an, another memorial road, since the dispatch office is right there, I think that would be a nice little uh, a nice little thing. But um, that's up to if the devs can do it or and want to do it and whatnot. So yeah. County last unit negative. You okay? No yeah, no I'm doing all right. I'm just uh, a little mellow today. How are you doing? You sure? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I just, uh, you know, maybe it's the old age. I don't know. Hodgepodge is here talking to Snyder. What about? I have no idea. Not even going to ask. I didn't do it this time. <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah. What are you up to on your day off besides hanging around here? Available. Copy your back label. Uh, dropping in my report from Firewatch. But nothing happened, thank God. That's good. Spent a day up in the tower uh, yesterday during that massive heat storm we had, just in case. Oh, that must have been nice in a tin can. Just, I think that was the worst decision than rather coming to work and wearing my turnouts. At least you're like up over the tree line and you get the breeze. We're doing some joint department training on auto education. Charles 42, Charles 3. You get up there? Yeah, just enjoying the sunset. Oh, fair point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the uh, detective want? Uh, it was because of uh, Station 1 got tagged um, on Friday. Oh, gotcha. Inside the, inside the ladder bay, actually, and I don't know how they got in. Gotcha. Wasn't that the graffiti or something? Yeah, it's, it's the one that uh, I sent in the group mail. Gotcha, yep. I still don't know how they got in there, honestly. Yeah. Huh. This is new too. The tower? Ah. Yeah. Go inside the scene yet. It's with the new feet. How's it going, detective? Ah, uh, well, you know, here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, I hear ya. Nice sunset up here, huh? Copy, Charles. <sighs> I do miss it a little bit, but... Yeah, it's one reason why I live in the county. In the morning I have uh, the sunrise over at my house, and if I want a sunset, I just come over here. It's not even five minutes. Yeah, if I could live back out here, I would, but... Three sixteen to any DNR scouting metro. Take me all back for the yeah, hell of a commute. Hey, uh, I guess, Chief, you got a second? Howdy. Yeah, let me, uh, Chief. Yeah, let me hop down. Okay. Yeah. Ah. I'm not gonna skedaddle out of here anyway, so... <laughs> that was close. Yeah, I'll walk you out. Thanks, Wait. Chief. Appreciate ya. Anytime, you're always welcome. You parked over on this side? Yeah. The, I guess the public lot or whatever you call it. Yeah. yeah. Safety officer now, huh? Yeah, it's a good position, and uh, you know I get to watch over my guys and stuff. So. Yeah, I hear you there. Eleven North County. Look, I know we don't have the greatest pass and whatever. You know, with everything that happened and. Close. Oh, that's a bang, but I'm ho I'm hoping that we can get past that now. Yeah, I mean, you'll you'll find uh, if you get to know me. I'm uh, I don't hold grudges. You know, I I let things go, and that was a uh, that was a bit in the past now. So I'm not uh, 
I'm, I'm not holding anything against you. I got you, but it's... I don't know, ever since that day, I've always felt weird interacting with you guys and... You know, just talking with you guys or even on it. So to you guys just because of all that cluster. So it's just a thing of, you know. No, I get it. Just wanted to clean the air. I mean, I'm starting at a new place from where I was before. So this I clean my plate fresh finally rather than just, you know. Yeah, no. I... Live, in the, live and dwell in the past and all that fun stuff. Yeah, man, I get it. I, I totally do. I mean, hey, I feel the same way. I stepped down as chief, and, uh, you know, I, I had to let go of a lot of responsibility, and, and uh, you know, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm in a better place, and I'm in, I'm enjoying life a lot more, and sometimes it just takes a big change, you know? No, of course. You hear that about that, that cow? That, oh, speaking of the devil, that is a cow. <laughs> yeah, they just talked about it over the radio. What, what, what? what? Why is it running down the road? <laughs> Just don't hit my car, please. I'm gonna get nah. enough shit because the last time I got my Vic shot up. He's uh, he's heading towards Dandy. Oh, thank God. But uh, yeah, man. Look, I I uh, as far as I'm concerned, you and I are good. I'm not I'm not all at all worried. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. I never truly got a chance to talk to you personally about it because you know the lawyers and uh, da, 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 da. yeah you know you know how that goes yeah I get all jammed up the legal system and whatnot yeah, yeah. I get it but I, I I do appreciate everything you guys do um and you guys have helped me out I don't know how many times so Hey yeah, man, no, you know we're all on the same side here, and that's uh, something that sometimes in the heat of the moment it's easy to forget. But uh, you know, why don't you take a step back and look at the big picture? Oh, I hear you. Mm. Trust me, I try. Well, uh, I'll let you get back to where you got to go before it gets too dark. So, uh, but yeah, man, I appreciate you stopping by yeah. and, and talking oh, to me. No, oh, Jesus Christ! Hold on. Yeah. Take Someone's getting shot at. You might want to secure it. Yep, stay safe. On the roof, on the roof. Shots fired. Uh, share the roof, share the roof. Medic 12, fire to the roof. Where? Where? Well, you're going to have to wait. Copy, Medic 12. Yeah, they're off on the roof. Damn, these fucking radios not working right now is in the ass. On the roof. Willie's. It's the Willie's building, brick building, right at 1057. 173, I'm getting you county all call. I got county units, we get main county ready. I need to get on that other side of the street. I don't want this guy jumping off the thing off. 30, I'll grab another unit. 1057, that's Polito Bay. Hey, two, three, I'm in the channel. This guy's on the roof of the Willys. I think I hit him once. Alright, well, we're gonna go grab our personal vehicle and head on home. It's definitely been a fun shift. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, just, uh, you know, one call, but we had some good conversations with some people that we needed to, so that was pretty good. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you on the next one.